Oh, hi. Last time you caught me out on a walk, we were talking about e pluribus unum. And that's a great phrase, e pluribus unum, out of many, one. It's, it's a hopeful phrase. It's forward thinking. It's empowering even. Out of all the different types of people, out of everybody. One. I like that. But then, a friend of mine reminded me that back in the 50s, that stopped being our national motto. And we adopted the phrase, in God we trust. <sighs> what a silly, stupid phrase. Just to clarify, in God we trust? Really? Let's take that apart for a minute and see if it holds up. I'm not going to argue about whether it should be our national motto or whether it makes sense or not. Just as a phrase, let's take a look. Let's begin with that first part, in God. In God? Which God? Is it the Christian God, the Jewish God, or the Muslim God? Which ostensibly really kind of are the same thing. No, 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 it's only one God. Because where e pluribus unum is a unifying motto, in God we trust is typical of our politics because it is a divisive motto. Which God? Let's see. Um, the Christian God, okay? Is it the Catholic God? The Baptist God? Which one? There's plenty of Christian gods. And you might say they're all the and same. And you might tell me they're all the same, but you could end up going to hell for following the wrong one. Because each one has its own rules, right? If you're Catholic, you're not gonna follow the rules set by the Baptist God. You're, because, <laughs> you know, bye bye because when we adopt a religion, we're not so much worshiping a god as agreeing to the social dogma, the rules that are set down by the religion. Our worship is our way of showing compliance to those rules. Just like if you're a Muslim, you're not going to follow the Sunni god or the Shia god, which in the end basically just means rules, dogma, dharma. If you're a Jew, is it the Orthodox Jewish God or the unconventional? You know, I actually forgot what that one's called. But basically, when you're talking about a God, it's not just one non it's not just one non-denominational God that everyone can agree on because no one can agree. God has become one of the more contentious terms in our language, in any language, at least now. So, in God, yeah, not really working. But okay, that's only half the phrase, right? We still have the rest. We trust. We trust? Really? I don't know when the last time was that we actually did trust. Do we trust our government or businesses? Oh, hell no. And I wouldn't suggest that we should, especially considering the way our country is right now. I was going to say our world, but really it's not a worldwide thing. We Americans are not a trusting folk. We don't trust our schools. We don't trust our doctors. Who the fuck do we trust? Anybody, 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 any. okay. You trust your parents? Maybe a little bit? You trust your brother? No. Well, I'm running out. So we trust doesn't really say a whole lot because we don't. To bring back another phrase that Ronald Reagan was fond of, he used to say, trust but verify. Trust but verify. What it means is trust but we're watching your ass. Trust but verify means we do not trust. Never. And why should we? We're Americans, after all. And back in the 50s, when In God We Trust became a thing, 
it became a thing because of a bunch of politicians. And of course it was a bunch of politicians. Who else would draft a phrase like, in God we trust? It's a meaningless bit of language when you think about it. There's no trust, and there's no God, because we can't agree on him. The only thing we can agree is that we can't really define we really him, we don't really... know what he stands for. Every single religion has different rules, different ideas, so it's all very nebulous. We don't know who's right, except we're right, right? I mean, we're the only ones who really know. Depending on what religion we follow, that's the one that has to be right, right? I hate to tell you, but just, just looking at the language in God we trust is bullshit. Which makes it the perfect American motto, actually, when you think about it. In God we trust. Because we're certainly not going to trust you, and we're not going to trust our leaders, and we're not going to trust our children, or our parents, or our neighbors, or fucking anyone. Because... In God, we trust. And there you have it. You've just survived another Ken LaSalle YouTube video. But it doesn't have to end there. You can share, like, and subscribe. Pick up an audiobook from Audible or iTunes, or an ebook or paperback from Amazon. Stop by KenLaSalle.com for more information. And as always, thank you for your support. I need it.